Welcome to another in Learning Trees video series on Microsoft Business Intelligence. Many people use Power Query to import data directly into Excel worksheets. Today, however, we're going to see how easy it is to bypass the worksheet and bring row data directly into Excel's internal data model. We'll start by illustrating this process uh, by importing some table data from Microsoft SQL Server. Uh, we'll use the Contoso Retail Data Warehouse example uh, used in so many of Microsoft's business intelligence examples. If we were importing data directly into a worksheet, we could only import a single set of row and column data. However, if we're importing into Power Pivot, we can import as many relational database tables or query results as we like. In fact, it's this act of importing multiple sets of rows and columns that gives Power Query the clue that we're not bringing this data into the internal data model. So in our example, we'll go ahead and pick enough tables from the SQL Server database that will actually end up with a mini tabular analysis services database to work with in Microsoft Excel. When we're finished selecting the tables, we'll end up with a dialog box that is going to ask us exactly what we want to do with the Power Query that we have created. Now, because we've selected multiple tables, the dialog box is already set to open connection only and the checkbox for import into data model is already selected. So we've seen that selecting multiple tables from a relational database, in this case SQL Server, uh, is sufficient to tell the uh, Power Query dialog box that we want to define only a connection and we want to check the import into data model uh, checkbox. This observation is important uh, because it gives us the more general solution to bringing any kind of data we want into the uh, data model directly. Uh, what if we wanted to read a single text file? Well, we must bring that into one single row and column data structure. But if we check the option button for connection only and check the checkbox for data model, we'll bring that row and column data structure into the uh, Power Pivot database. So let's go ahead and see how that works. Uh, we'll import a CSV file, just like always. In this case, it'll be a CSV file based on the uh, very same fact table that we imported a moment ago from SQL Server itself. Now, since a CSV file corresponds to exactly one set of rows and columns, when we're done specifying the characteristics of our import, we dare not click the load choice. We must explicitly tell Power Query that we want to load not to the worksheet, which is the default, but we want to load elsewhere. The load to dialog lets us make the choice we want. We do not want to import a table and we definitely want to import into the data model. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to check out our other videos and visit blog.learningtree.com for some helpful hints and insights.